done nautical decorating but she does it in a way that I've never seen it done and I think it's so beautiful that I'm gonna hold it up as an example to you for how to do nautical and make it really elegant and then afterwards we're gonna do some returns and try to sell a chandelier at a salvage yard so that's what's going on back there to take you around this house and I want you to pay attention to what she does that's different from what you would normally think of as a beach house okay so we're gonna start I'll, I'll just tell you some of the things I noticed right away when I came in here she has a lot of light in this house so think like that if you're going this direction in your own home and you want it to look nautical but not cheap looking or overdone so think light so we get that with mirrors we get that with open windows. She doesn't really have window treatments, so she just enjoys the view. The other thing she does is her walls are this yummy, buttery, kind of a muted yellow. And that was not a mistake. She loves that sunshine feel, and I think that that does not detract from the beach feel. I think that goes very well. So a lot of places will have blue, and then blue and gray. Right, you think those are beach things and just a ton of signs that say beach house, kind of cheeky sayings and things. I don't see any of that going on here. Lots of mirrors, crystal light, lots of shelves. So this is the front room. This is her living room that we're in. And so you come in, she has beautiful view of the sound. Even up in her transom above her front door, she's added starfish. Then um, she does a really good job adding in tables for as you know like we need lots of small tables everyone needs a spot wherever they're sitting to be able to set something down that's one of my rules that comes from albert hadley and so we have tables that she's just kept throughout the years some of them are hand-me-downs this one here by the front door has shelves that she starts to show off and then she mixes in these faux ferns she got these at a garage sale her lamps, I like how many lamps she's put in the room. I actually think you don't even need overhead lighting if you're willing to put like six lamps in a living room. I think they're very flattering and cozy and just, I think people don't do them nearly enough. We need more lamps in the world. Her gold floor lamps are from Home Goods, and actually her table lamps, which have a really, almost like an urchin vibe to them. Be subtle when you're going nautical. I think that's part of the secret to doing it really well. Then she has two couches facing each other from Pottery Barn, and then these, I'm sitting in one of these swivel chairs. I love swivel chairs in spaces that are where you're multitasking, so someone could watch TV. They can also turn around and talk with the people at the table in the dining room next. So that's a good design tip. Her slip covered ottoman is from Ballard Designs. This is an old one, it has the cute ties on it. And then throughout the room, we see a collection of her shells. I mean, her whole mantle here is all different sizes of shells and textures. And, and so see how she pulls out the creamy yellows and then the peaches and the mauves. I feel like that's a really high end take on nautical and she has things in different heights and she added in candles and fairy lights and almost looks like a really awesome garland but it's just all pieced together then she has shells on cake stands shells within shells mixing in glass she gets her art lights 
from Amazon. Most of them are off of Amazon and I will link some of those for you. Her mirror is an old, this big awesome mirror is an old one from Costco. All of her shells, it sounds like, are from travels and gifts and so there's stories and sentiment behind all of it. And then oil painting. That's where we see really the only blue and grays going on and a lot of her paintings were thrifted. Okay, now let's head down the hallway. We're gonna take a look at the bathrooms, bedrooms, there's a den, an office. The paintings right here are watercolor, so actually that's a good thing to be looking for for this look, oil painting and watercolor. We are in the bathroom with the slipper bathtub. This house was actually built in 2005, which is shocking to me. It has great bone. I thought she was gonna say 1920 or 1930 when I asked her how old the house was. So whoever did it knew what they were doing. They were very intentional. And there's lots of details that I just don't see in the new houses. Again, we have our gold frames, our paintings. Think about what you need to use in the bathroom and then dress that up somehow. So for instance, she has her little table here and she keeps all of her soap in a seashell. Then she has the plug for the tub. I thought this was some vintage, unique weight or something. She says, no, that's the plug. She keeps it in a little votive. Then up on the counter, we have another shell, and it's not a soap dish, she's, it's just a shell, and she's using it like a soap dish. Oh, what's this shell doing right here? Oh, no, I can't get it back. It's great, it's okay. It's temperamental. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. You want me to come in and do it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the color of the vanity here, but it's beautiful, it kind of, it might be like a Chantilly lace, or divine white from Sherwin-Williams. That's my guess. But so the basin looks like a seashell. The counters are onyx, which I have never seen. And she's got her, her yummy coral and her caramely, buttery yellow. So whoever built the house had a really good eye. This is feels very nautical, but not screaming. And then always add in a lamp if you can in your bathroom. This soap she got at Home Goods. She does a really good job with finding stuff at Home Goods. Okay, one of the things that I want to show you in this bathroom, I thought this was a window, and Bridget said, no, it's stained glass. They're not really using it for anything, but they added a light, there's an outlet in there. It looks like a window. I think this is such a great hack. Actually, it had red here, and she just took a paint pen and turned it to gold. <laughs> so if you find something at a salvage store and you wanna change the color, you could do a little bit of that. Right, and then I was saying to her, you could add shelves and use it as a medicine cabinet if you wanted. So that's an idea for you. One of the things she does, I notice, is she dresses up her windows. So not really any curtains or anything, but um, she'll add in. So this is a this was actually a placemat, and she keeps it in here all the time. Oops. She keeps this in here all the time, and it just acts as a beautiful addition to the screen. And then she's always adding seashells in for the light to pass through. that she actually thrifted so these are old I saw them and I thought I've seen ones like these in the museum <laughs> so then we have a gallery wall with a collection of boats and this middle one actually her husband was a firefighter on a, I think it's called a fireboat is that what you call it so this is very sentimental her lamps 
are thrifted. This one that looks like a, a rope ball is from Home Goods. I love how she's got her linen books stacked up. I'm not opposed to sailboats, I actually love them, but Bridget has them collected. So if you do things that feel super nautical, that's okay. Just put them all together like she did here. Most of these are thrifted. And then her husband's desk is actually a dining room table. So that's what my husband has too. I think that's always a great option. Don't pass over dining room tables if you're shopping for desks. A tip from Bridget that is really fun, especially for grandkids, is to do this. Instead of keeping your photos in books or hidden away, she puts them in big bowls and then the kids come over and shuffle through them and, and it it's also doubles as a pretty decoration. So I've seen several bowls of photographs around here. Okay, now we are in her den. It's not very big. She squeezed in a full-size couch and a love seat from Macy's. Again, we have the gallery walls, tons of lamps. How many lamps do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five lamps. Five lamps in this little room. So she's doing lamps right. And we have home goods lamps, thrifted lamps, lots of these sheepskin rugs. This actually is a Christmas tree. I love it that she keeps it in here and it, it looks like something that would be under the sea. It's this white feather tree. Her pillows, she got most of these at the thrift store. Lots of texture. So it's very collected. So be encouraged by that and just stick to some rules with your colors and the lights and the collections. And you'll pull off a really stunning nautical look. Makes me want to buy a beach house. I love how she took these glass tiles that were going to be thrown out and she's using them as risers just to create some height here in this vignette in the corner. Okay, another Bridget tip. Look how she takes the sides of the cabinets in her kitchen and she sees them as potential for decorating space. So even her push pins are cute. Those are little wooden push pins. But she takes what looks like Cavallini posters and I've done this before where I've added dowels on the top and the bottom and then it becomes an inexpensive piece of art, probably $10. So she has Cavallini posters on the edges of cabinets in her kitchen. I think that's a great way to add more interest. We are in the kitchen now, and she's already mentioned that she wants to update her counters, so she wasn't super excited about us seeing her kitchen, but we all know what it's like to be in process, and I think that never really, really ends. I hope it doesn't. I hope that you keep enjoying your decorating over and over again. But one thing I want to point out with a kitchen that has a lot of dark colors, a good way to balance that is to add white dishes. So she has white pieces all along the top of her cabinetry. The kitchen, it just makes the kitchen look so much more cozy and it has that great contrast which helps brighten up the room. Another thing that she collects that I wanted to tell you about in the den were binoculars. I think that is a great idea. I didn't even think of that. I think that's so creative. So when you're out collecting for this look, be sure to pick up binoculars and then style them all together. I mean, can we just, can we just check out this view for a minute? This is her front porch. I'm standing outside of the front door. She's got shells along her railing. Man, I just keep finding things to show you guys. Oh, there's our burnt popcorn. We had a snack going and we burnt it. <laughs> Because we were so busy with all the beauty around us. It's so inviting. All this gorgeous little herb garden. She has raspberries. Bridget is the girl I want to be when I get older. I want to look like her and be fun like her. You know. You got to have people like that in your life, right? That you look up to and just think, I, I want to be them one day. So there you go. I mean, enough said, right?
Yay, we did it. We finally got to tour Bridget's Beach House. Oh my gosh, did you just love it? I am so glad we got to do that. And I'm sure it's taken nautical decorating to a whole nother level. And next week, I'm going to show you actually my powder room. It was on my blog. I redid it. I, I put it on the blog years ago and I never put it on here. And I realized that recently that we need to actually do the true reveal on here. So we're going to do it. And it's one of my favorite rooms in the house. I think it's okay to have a bathroom be one of your favorite rooms, right? So look forward to that. You guys have a great week. Take care. I'll see you soon.